you probably have been petrified and even more so now that the holiday season is coming about. But it's not just holidays, it's anniversaries, birthdays, special occasions. You may be invited to formal dinner and you are greeted with an array of different glasses. How do you hold them? So allow me to share with you my suggestions. Number one, your sparkling wine you greeted with a flute. As I have mentioned earlier, you can hold it at the base or perhaps at the stem. And that would be the way that you hold the sparkling wine. The reason why we have the lovely stem is that it allows us to see the bubbles as they slowly percolate up. It's quite, um, oh, I would say majestic. So that would be the first. Your second dish could be a seafood or a fish and you would have white wine. Don't want to do this. Definitely not like this, nor like this. Once again, hold it by the stem and don't forget the curvature of the baby finger is extremely elegant. After the white wine, it's quite normal, you would probably have a red wine. The red wine, your options, um, perhaps depending on the temperature of the red wine, you might be able to hold it like this for a short time, just to heat it up. And then once again, I would recommend holding it by the stem. So you've now encountered sparkling wine, white wine, and red wine. Then you might be served tea at the end. And with tea, you want to hold it in this manner, where your index and your thumb are sort of holding the curvature of the handle. So you'd pick it up like this, and you'd have it like that. Alternatively, if you are given a coffee mug or cup, you would place your index and middle finger through the handle, and this particular finger, the one, your, your wedding band finger, would give it support, and your thumb would be at the handle here. So quite different from a teacup. After your dessert, you've had your tea or your coffee option, you might be lucky enough to be given cognac or a brandy, cognac coming specifically from France. You might want to hold your cognac glass by the base of the bowl itself and you would slowly give it a lovely swirl and take in the aromas. So that would be for the brandy glass. Now, if you were given a whiskey glass, this would be the option for the whiskey. So bear in mind, whiskey like this, brandy like that. Last but not least, they might end off with a grappa. And the grappa would come in a stemmed glass like this and you would hold it once again in the stem. So don't be petrified. Enjoy the meal, the food and everything that goes with friendship and a marvellous dinner. Wishing you a great time. So please comment, like, share or subscribe to our videos.